Rocket Man is the name of one of my listeners. This is his dream. He wants to share his tidal wave dream. It's about a tidal wave, big time. And I'm quoting him now. I'm reading exactly what he wrote. I was with my family and we were in Los Angeles. I have many relatives living in Southern California, so I didn't find it odd that I would be there. However, there was a bit of chaotic activity occurring everywhere. People were becoming increasingly frantic. The airport was jammed and all the freeways were at a standstill. I was seeing this from a higher elevation. Seemed like we were coming down from the 405 from the valley. As we were making our way towards my mom's house to warn her to leave, I could see many helicopters heading toward the ocean and jets were taking off in a much closer pattern with none landing. Many people were headed towards the beaches. I got to my mom's. Strange, because she doesn't live in California, but in Arizona. I warned her we had to leave. She said she had a flight out, but I could take her Corvette. She doesn't even have a Corvette. Anyway, the dream. I said, don't worry about that. It's useless. Traffic isn't going anywhere. So I gathered my family and began running to higher ground. There were not many people headed in that direction. Most were headed toward the beach. Duh. Suddenly, I noticed the color of the sky changing into a green hue, almost like the sun was covered by a green screen and shining through it. I turned and my heart sank. My legs felt weak. There was an enormous wave towering higher and higher. Helicopters were all covering and, 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 I mean, they looked like mosquitoes in comparison. The sun was maybe an hour or so away from setting on the horizon. So the light was shining through the wave. It was a terrifying sight. <clears throat> Everyone just stood there in disbelief. The wave was moving at a rapid pace, but it was so big, it didn't seem as if it was, as if it was. Kind of like watching a 747 landing. It appears to just hang in the air, but it's moving at 180 miles an hour. When I saw it, I grabbed my children and yelled to my wife to run. We were making our way up the street when I turned again and noticed my wife was gone. I saw a door swinging on a building next to us. So I ran in there yelling her name, looking for her. It appeared to be a medical clinic. She was trying to inject herself with something and I grabbed her and ran out to my ran out with my children and began to run again. I felt the wind shift and it began to blow a cool breeze at our backs that was picking up intensity. I could smell the ocean. I began to hear the roar of the water over the screams of the crowds and could feel the ground trembling. I turned to look over my shoulder and saw the wave crashing through the city and knew we would not be able to outrun it. I was being it was being destroyed. Excuse me. Every building was being destroyed as it passed them. I stood there watching it approach. I was overcome with shock and awe for a moment. I was telling my family not to look. They were becoming very frightened. I went to them, wrapped my arms around them, and prayed. With a, with a tremendous crash, it hit and I shot up out of my bed. There was nothing going on in my life that would have made me become preoccupied with anything related to this kind of dream. Just interesting to see others have similar dreams. The nuke dream is even more frightening, but that'll come later. 
God's peace be with you all who believe. God will be done on earth as God's will. Please be done on earth as it is in heaven. Come, Lord Jesus, come quickly. And that was the end of Scott's quotation. I threw a few words in here or there to stop myself from stammering. But anyway, um, I will add anything that I may have forgotten or anything he may have wanted me to add. I will add on the screen. But isn't that dream something? Something is going on. Too many people are having these dreams, you guys. We have got to stay prayed up. We really have to stay prayed up because God is coming soon. Uh, these are the end days. This stuff is getting scary. But we're not to fear. Remember that. We are to prepare. So if any of you live near the ocean, you pray that if it's time for that tidal wave to come, you ask God to warn you days ahead of time so you have plenty of time to get the heck out of Dodge. Amen? Amen.